We've all seen it. The paving crew is moving along. The pace is going well. And then you notice it. Segregation in the map. Simply stated, segregation is the separation of fine and coarse materials, creating a rough surface texture. Segregation affects smoothness, accelerates pavement damage, and leaves the client unhappy. But what causes segregation? How do we find the source and how do we prevent it? In this video, we will examine segregation causes at the plant and at the paver. The best place to start is at the end and work backwards. Number one, check the screed. Is the angle correct? Did you preheat the screed prior to paving? Number two, monitor the head of material at the auger. Keep the volume of mix consistent, about 75% of the auger height. Maintain this optimum height of mix all the way to the edge of the screed. Number three, the most common cause of segregation at the roadway occurs at the hopper. Do not expose the conveyor slats and fold the wings. Keep the hopper at least half full and do not let the hopper run too low before flipping the wings. Number four, are you stopping the paver between trucks? Adjust the paver speed to maintain a continuous pace and keep the paver moving. Number five, is the mix cold? Make sure the mix arriving to the roadway is within the proper compaction temperature range. Once you've checked all trouble spots at the paver and everything looks good, keep backtracking to the plant. The source of segregation can happen during production. Number one, how are the haul trucks loading? Make sure to load at multiple drops, front, back, and then middle. Also, be sure you have a head of material above the last drop. Number two, check the batcher. Build up inside or malfunctioning doors are two of the most common causes of segregation at the plant. Number three, how clean is your mixing drum and mixing area? Mixing flights with buildup on them can create humps or dams between the flights, creating segregation right inside the mixing area. Number four, have you checked your cold feed bends? Make sure the right material is fed into its corresponding bin. Do not overload bins leading to potential overflowing. Bulk heads between the bins help. Number five, investigate your stockpiles. Is each pile separated and built correctly? Build stockpiles in horizontal lifts or blend with the loaders after dumping aggregate in the yard to build homogeneous stockpiles eliminating coarse and fine sections in the piles. Make sure to test the stockpile gradations before running through the plant. Going backwards from the paver to the plant should lead you to the cause of your segregation issue. While this video is a general overview, each section can be dissected even more to help you succeed in paving a smooth, safe, segregation-free road. For more advice, contact us by visiting our website or calling 904-503-5100.